So I recently got offered the opportunity to help and test the HDOS client. If you don't know what that is, it's okay. This is a client that a community of people have been making that aims to restore the 2008 graphics to old school RuneScape. And oh my God, it's beautiful. Like, look at this, it's amazing. I want to make a video to showcase this client and well, I want to do a couple of other things with another RuneScape video too. So welcome to Iron Deficient, a Iron Man series that aims to cover every single quest in free to play and make it look goddamn good. So you're going to be seeing in this series quests like you've never seen them before. You may have seen them in HD before, but you've never even seen them like this. Without further ado, now we've finished Tutorial Island, let's check out what's on for today. So first up is everyone's favourite, Cook's Assistant. The Lumbridge Chef is in one hell of a pickle. See, it's the Duke's birthday and he needs to bake him a birthday cake. Bad side of this is he forgot to order all the ingredients. So I offered to get him some milk, eggs and flour. Let's get started. First up we are visiting the site of the Grand Cow Massacre and gathering some milk. And then we are visiting the site of the Grand Chicken Extermination and gathering some eggs. I'm actually going to kill a few chickens while we're here for food. Crossing back over to the other side of Lumbridge we pick some wheat and grind it into flour. I also stopped by the general store on the way back to try and sell some of the wheat for gold but turns out wheat's worth nothing. And we bring the ingredients back and that is the first quest complete. Cake baked, denied access to the Duke's party. Also, for cooking. So I tried cooking these chickens in preparation for the next quest and I managed to burn all of them but one. So I'm gonna go get some more chickens and then we'll get started. Swinging into this next quest, we have the Restless Ghost. This one is a classic, and what has happened is there's this ghost haunting this graveyard, and we need to track down someone that knows how to get rid of it. This guy is Father Ernie, who lives in the Lumbridge Swamp. Scouring the Lumbridge Swamp, we do eventually track down Father Ernie. And he's not happy to see us. He's been spending a while in isolation and he doesn't want to come out. So he simply gives us this necklace and says, you're smart enough, this will let you talk to ghosts, you solve the problem. Arriving at the Lumbridge graveyard and confronting the ghost, he is actually off his head, quite literally. See, a wizard of some description has seemingly taken his skull and absconded with it in the wizard's tower. And the ghost says the only way to stop him from haunting the graveyard is to collect that skull. So once again, we pass through the swamps to the wizard's tower to collect the skull. Searching the depths of the wizard's tower, we do find the skull placed upon the altar and a skeleton comes to life and we Indiana Jones it straight out of them. Arriving back at the Lombridge graveyard, we return the head, setting free the ghost, earning a quest point and gaining nine prayer. Before we wrap this up today, I do want to talk a little bit about this client I've been using, the HDOS client. It is gorgeous and it's been the inspiration for making this video, so I just want to give a shout out and thank you to those that are working hard on developing it. The client is still in development, but it's been coming along nicely. So yeah, thank you for watching episode one of Iron Deficient. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, a like, a comment, subscribe and all that stuff so you know when the next episode comes out. Also, let me know what quests you want to see in the next episode too. And I'll see you next time.